Hi Sagittarius, it's Crystal Rose at Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So today I'm going to start with the Psychic Tarot by John Holland and I'm going to finish with Saints and Mystics by Andres and Gracia. For this I'm going to um, look at what energy you're channeling right now or what you should be channeling, what to embody so that you kind of understand how to express at the moment, okay? So let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Hey now, ooh, ooh, things are flying, things are flying. What's going on here? I am fascinated by this energy already because on one hand, it looks like um, there's an achievement. You feel seen, you feel recognized, rewarded somehow, whether this is, you know, you got a promotion at work or someone came back around to talk to you. Um, so you're kind of in a resting place but there's still room for you to pull back your emotional energy for yourself a bit, keep it to you so that you are honoring your boundaries. So there's something about boundaries, standing up for yourself. So let's see what's happening here. You're the sacrificial lamb at the moment, looks like. Something came in, disrupted your life and is tugging on your energy I assume it's this person who showed up uh, or this job offer or something that's requiring some kind of attention, right? But it kind of disrupted what you had going on. Now, it looks like you want something else to come out of the situation. You want a foundation to move forward. You have the confidence. You have a root foundation. What you don't have is a fiery passion that's moving you forward. So whether that's at work or in a relationship or both, you need to find yourself in a place where your sacrifices are resulting in what you want. Uh, I'm also kind of getting the feeling that you're missing oceans, water. That's one of the things you need to do. Um, travel, right? Um, just that's how you recharge. That's what I'm hearing. So that's something maybe you could try doing right now, even on a small level, just locally, go somewhere by yourself um, and kind of shift your energy a bit. Let me see, what's this gonna result in for you if you do that? Oh, well, bam. All of a sudden, bing, bang, boom, there's a love offer and fulfillment and happiness for the, I'm hearing for the effort you've put in, for the wisdom that you've gained and taught back to them and for the lessons that you've learned that you're sharing with others. So basically for you being lighter and reciprocal, just out there to the universe in general, like you're, you're a good person who's well grounded, who's confident, who um, does the right thing is what I'm hearing spirit do, right? Or say, so <laughs> I don't know, are they doing or saying? It's kind of the same. <laughs> telepathy is telepathy. Um, you know that this is going to make you happy. You know that there's a beginning here. Everything in your being and meaning coming into your crown chakra is totally letting you know that this is awesome. And that's funny because here I am talking about something coming in and you know it. And then here comes Nichols. This is Nichols, by the way. Say hi, buddy. Say hello. Yes. All right. So what is your mental conflict? Your mental conflict is you've been through some pain, you were hurt, and you don't know if you feel safe. So what happened? You have hopes of moving forward into hearing a truth. You need to hear. You need feedback in your life. You need to hear from this other person, from the job, from this thing more not just the action but you need to feel the love you need to hear some words you need passion so i'm going to tell you this totally reads like a love reading absolutely and that's probably what you mostly came here for whether you admit it or not because you know <laughs> um I'm going to 
take, I'm hearing to take one more look at this. So hold on, let me review, which I almost never do, but they're telling me to look at something. So hold on, let me take a look. Let me switch up what I just did here because I bury everything. All right, there's this. I feel like you are currently sitting in a situation where you're spending time with somebody but not and there's respect and they admire you and it's totally fine but you're not ready for uh, not I don't want to say not ready you're wanting more out of the situation and the problem is you're thinking through it and you have hope, but I don't see anything happening yet, right? Like what's gonna happen now? Okay, so here's the second part they wanted me to look at. There's your truth, there's pain, there's deception. You know what I think? I think that you were hurt before and you're trying to move on to something else and that something else isn't uh, fruiting. I'm hearing the word fruiting and they're showing me a tree that's not producing as soon and as much as you want it to. So while it's totally fine, you're not in a romantic relationship that you want to be in. So let go of that. This is you moving forward to go to something that is growing. Okay. Now, in order for you to get this, you need to admit to yourself feelings of loss, deception, your own deception I'm hearing also, that's the mirror. So while you've had some agendas or not entirely done things with full authenticity, this person came in to highlight to you what holding back and not speaking your truth looks like. So rough lesson, but also necessary for the contract between the both of you, because that's how this stuff works. It's for, you know, to teach each other and become whole as an individual. Right now, I see you not working on your pain from the previous situation. And when you deal with the fact that you're actually in love with the person from before, and that you actually still want that, then you have put forgiveness into the equation. Now Jesus can do his magic and bing, bang, boom, there's the passion you were looking for. And also a spiritual union. So I'm all, this is where they want me to bring work back around too. This is doing work that is spiritually aligned with you. So if you're doing something for money and foundation and all this, and it's not making you happy, you will continue to find things to complain about. So you doing things that light your heart up, being with the right person, or at least even thinking about the right person, not trying to like somebody new. You know what I mean? Okay, let me see what else. So the reason you're trying to move on is because it looks like the other person moved on to another situation. Um, either they were already married and they didn't leave or they went off and got married and committed to someone. There was all, you know what? That obstacle was already in place. Whether you think it came after you, before you, during you, like I feel like it was already there before you entered. This was already set in stone. So, they were already moving in a direction. Then you showed up. That changed the plan. And it didn't go the way either one of you thought it was gonna go. That person had ties to other things, other people that they were accountable to, uh, someone that they were either already, uh, I'm hearing like arranged marriage, uh, religious, um, also, family demands and expectations. So parents, grandparents, um, th things that they were expected to do. I'm hearing the word tradition, out of tradition, right? 
and then you came in and changed the whole game and then it didn't work out that's left you in pain and conflict okay so how's this going to turn out if you can get spiritually strong and appreciate your own efforts to work in a career that makes you happy and takes care of you um or at least begin to do something like that not just you know an overnight switch if that's not possible for you um but you know start a side hustle or do a business that really does align with you and build it up as you you're still stable and have another job that type of thing as you start to balance yourself out you start to create create i'm going to show you how the creation showing up because you don't live from passion you might have some issues like uh fibroids your uterine issues, ovarian issues, cancers. I'm hearing hysteria, which is causing problems in your hyster area. So you might've had a hysterectomy or you're trying to prevent one because you wanted a baby. But really for some of you I'm hearing, you weren't necessarily meant to have one or you were meant to start a business that you enjoyed. So you need to define your own passions first. So say you lost a child, um, a lost a, a pregnancy. It just wasn't time. So this is a timing thing, okay? Because you needed to have your own passion, not get it from another human being. You needed to know how to make yourself happy. So now that you're starting to understand that message quite well, you will be very successful, but you need to choose you first. So take care of your sacral chakra. I swear to God, it just popped up. Definitely sex organ issues and also your creative center and your center of passion where you're going to, instead of going out and being promiscuous or trying to make a new husband happen or something like that, create something for you, create a business, create a, a nonprofit, I'm hearing. Like you're trying to be a good person and, and give back that's a good way to do it. So that's going to be very successful for you. And while you're doing that, while you're changing and becoming the authority of your own life, you're manifesting this person coming in and all kinds of material abundance coming your way. Because one, you're being a boss and you're doing your own thing. And two, I feel this other person shows up with a material harvest as well. So you're getting 10 times more than you think you're getting trying to just move on and attach to somebody else right now by letting go, focusing on you, and then waiting for this new business, job, and person to come in. Yes, that's your destiny, yo. <laughs> that gives you every option in the world. I'm gonna drop that right there. Okay, let's move on to Saints and Mystics and see what you're channeling. All right, um, funny. I like to have songs on in the background for extra messages. And right now, this is Daryl Hall and John Oates, Man Eater. Let me explain. Uh, this woman is wild. Uh, hold on, we got to the bottom here. Do, 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 where are you? Um, she's a man eater. I wouldn't if I were you. I know what she can do. She's deadly, man. She could really rip your world apart. Mind over matter. Oh, the beauty is there, but a beast is in her heart. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. She's a man eater. Don't go through people, men, women, whatever, other partner situations, trying to find financial security and happiness. It's not, you need to take care of you. Take care of you. Don't chew them up and spit them out. And I promise you, you will get something awesome. Okay, well, now we're getting Tom Petty, American Girl. Well, she was an American girl raised on promises. She couldn't help thinking that there was a little more to life somewhere else. After all, it was a great big world with lots of places to run to. Yeah, and if she had to die trying, she had one little promise she was going to keep. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Take it easy, baby. Make it last all night. She was an American girl. So this is really just kind of plugging away and trying to make something happen so that you can have this American dream, this whole little story that 
I'm seeing, I'm looking through your eyes now. Spirit's showing me that you're looking around and you're envying everybody else that you're seeing. And that's why you're not working on yourself. To you, it's the impression that they just fell into it and everyone else is lucky and you're not. And that's not true. You're a very lucky person. But also, luck doesn't just happen. People build their luck. Everyone does. They do. And I'll tell you, if they didn't, then their karmic lesson's probably to have it all fall apart and have to learn. So don't think that anybody ever escapes a lesson. And you need to tend to your own garden, like folk, water your own lawn, like focus on your own shit, okay? All right, so let's see what you're channeling here. Because I'm apparently channeling. I just keep talking. Uh, huh. Michelle de Nostradamus, Premonitions. What is the white owl teaching you? What is it that you know is happening? I, I'm hearing to pull one more card for you. But this is somebody who's tuned into their intuition. And I, I feel like you know and you've been ignoring your intuition, right? And you don't have to. You don't have to ignore your intuition. You're safe to follow through with the things you thought about. You're just not putting in the action, okay? Like, and, and the only reason is because you're lacking confidence. If you just had confidence consistently, not just sometimes, not just when you feel someone paid attention to you, but genuinely knew your value and your worth, you would, you would shine all the time. People like the shiny version of you. They don't like the dim version that has an agenda, right? Um, Dion Fortune ceremony. I'm telling you, you need to get into your spirit. Don't, don't be focused on the material world. Get into your spirit and you will be materially rewarded without even thinking. Okay? I promise you. I'm going to leave it there. If this resonated, please uh, subscribe to the channel and support me. Thank you so much. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, if you want the cards, if you'd like to book a reading, if you want to follow me on social media, all that is in the links below. And if you would like to buy Nichols a pillow so he can sleep peacefully, <laughs> there's a donation link down below if you'd like to support my little family, my little guys. Huh, buddy? All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.